Hey, what's up everyone? Eric Ross, the guy with the eye here for a quick tip for you, and it's just something awesome you can really add to the repertoire of what you need to know. It just simply involves having your camera and a lens and a high aperture. And what I want to just teach today is how to get starburst photos without some cheap and really degrade image quality degrading filter. Um, there, there are filters out there that can help you with this process, but they're just not that good and I just wouldn't waste your money on them when you can essentially do it for free. So really the only setting to worry about is just having a higher aperture. And typically this can range between f11 and f22 or 32 all depending on what you want to go. I wouldn't necessarily push it to the max extent uh, of what your lens can do because of diffraction and everything. But there are certain factors to how to get these starburst photos and how many rays you get from them. Now pretty much you need to be pointing at some kind of light source. Like uh, if I could find this night photo that I took, you'll see a lot of these. Uh, street lights and lights and everything and they all have different kinds of um, you know light beams coming off of them and that wasn't using a filter that's because I think I was at either f14 or f16 and that's just the way the light hits the blades and comes into the lens and that's also how you, how it determines about how many rays you get and all the bursts you get is the blades within the lens like you can go between like five six ten all that kind of stuff so it, it just all matters on what uh, what kind of blades are in your lens that you can really customize the look you really want. But you don't need to spend a lot of money on something like this, it's just easy to do. And it's also easy if you kind of put something like darker in the foreground of something, like if you wanted to get some kind of a sunset, it's also great to put like maybe like some kind of range or building in front of it to obscure it to give a not fully starburst look and you know, the lens flare and everything like that. It kind of cuts it off a little bit to add a little bit more dynamic or shooting through something is pretty awesome as well. Like if you get the light to wrap around something, that's also something very, very, very unique. So I just wanted to give you that quick tip. It's very easy to do starburst photos. You don't need to waste money on something that could de degrade your image quality. You could just set your aperture to F11, F16, F18, and you just experiment from there. And you could just get exactly what you need and just dial in your shutter and ISO to uh, whatever you need to get that extent. So something easy as that, even if you wanted to flip your camera, your camera to aperture mode and set it to that, so that way you can kind of learn your settings on how you want to do something. It's just something else you can add to your repertoire. Uh, repertoire. Quick tip, easy to do. Let me know if you guys and girls have any questions. Please leave those down below. Very simple to do Starburst photos. It's not, you know, fully in depth. Very easy. Let's do this.